Hey, today we're going to talk a little bit about the differences and similarities between an online course and a regular traditional classroom course. Now, there are a lot of similarities. Uh, for example, in a classroom, you come to a classroom on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, and you uh, see a teacher. And you have one teacher for that class who is there to help you through all of the material in the class. The same thing is true for an online course. You have a teacher who is presenting you with this material, is there to help you, uh, and the way that you communicate them is a little bit different. Communicate with them is a little bit different. In a classroom, you might raise your hand and ask them a question. On an online course, you would need to email them or post in a forum to answer to ask your question. So although the mode of communication is different, the relationship of teacher and student is the same. So that you have a single teacher, that teacher is responsible uh, for helping you to complete the requirements of the course. Okay, so let's take a look at an online course. Here I've, you know, I've, I have been signed up for a course, I've logged in, and now I'm on the front page of the course. So how do I make that first contact with my teacher? Uh, now in general what you would find is you'd find a first, you know, you might have an email message from your teacher, some kind of message from you describing what to do on the very first thing when you sign up for the course. Um, uh, if you need to contact your teacher right off the bat, a great place to look is in this first section. So in the first section of the course, that's where all of your, so for example, on the computer applications, it's in the news and announcement section. So if we scroll down and we look at the course guide, it might say syllabus, it might say course guide, something like that. You'll notice that if I go ahead and open this up by clicking on it, you'll notice that the very first thing is this instructor that's going to give me my instructor uh, how to contact that instructor. So um, so whenever I have a question or if I need something explained, I don't quite know what to do, um, pretty much anything. If, if you know you can't figure it out in a reasonable amount of time, the very next thing to do is to email your teacher. And your teacher will be more than happy to help. In fact, they'll be glad that you asked the question. Uh, so, so please go ahead and do that. Okay, so the course guide is going to talk about the course. It's going to talk about how you're graded in the course. It's a really important to understand this course guide or course syllabus right off the bat, as it is in a traditional course. So that's a, that's a great similarity between the two. Just like when you start a regular course, the course syllabus or course guide is, is you know, there to help you to understand how to best, to, to best achieve uh, in the course, so too is that, is that course guide or syllabus on a, an online course. So the next question that students really have is, well, you know, in a regular classroom, a uh, teacher might hand me a piece of paper, I might write on that piece of paper, or the teacher might uh, require that I create a, you know, something on a piece of paper like a, like a, you know, math problems, or they might require me to write down questions from a, a science textbook, or they might require me to create a piece of, of creative writing on a piece of paper and then physically hand them the piece, physically hand the teacher the piece of paper. Well, in an online class, we do the same thing, except we're not using physical pieces of paper and we're not handing them to the teacher, right? We're creating documents on our computer in such programs as Microsoft Word, or we might create something on an, on an internet site. Uh, and then we're, we're either directing the teacher to go to that internet site, or we're uh, uploading our Word document. That's just like turning it into an inbox, you know, a teacher's inbox that would be full of papers in a traditional class. Uh, our inbox, a teacher's inbox on the computer is a listing of documents from their students in the course. Okay, so let's keep scrolling down. We have this, now this course is really fantastic. It's set up as a, um, as a uh, internship. Uh, so our first topic, notice we have a top one over here. And you'll notice that, um, that kind of this break in the sections here. So we have our beginning of topic one. You'll see the gray outline of it there. Okay, and we scroll down here. Um, now, here is another difference between an online course and a traditional course. In a traditional course, you would walk into class. You might have a seat. There'd be a teacher standing up at the front of the room, and they st would start to talk to you and give you instructions. They would talk to you about your assignment or uh, you know, what you're going to do today in class or what the section is, or might, they might start to just give information. Uh, that's called, in teaching, that's called direct instruction. And direct instruction is also called lecturing. Um, and there is no direct instruction, of course, on an online class. Uh, that, that, you know, that's a big difference for some students. 
when you get information in an online course, it's going to be through a, a variety of different ways, none of which is going to be a live person standing in front of a room. In an online course, uh, you're going to get information by reading, by watching videos, by listening to audio. Uh, they won't be live, but it will be a much more rich experience than you might be used to in a classroom. Um, as inner, you know, as in, rich in some ways and not as rich in others. You know, um, uh, so on the one hand, in a live classroom, it's very easy to get feedback from your teacher. If you don't have, if you have a question, it's a, you know, a one second. Um, raise your hand, you ask the question, the teacher answers. It's a one second process to answer a question. Online, you have to go a little bit out of your way to email the question and really make sure that you understand. Um, on the other hand, uh, sometimes when you're having direct instruction and teachers talking, uh, you might uh, not be able to write down all of the pertinent information. So a great thing about an online course is a lot of the instructions are written down for you. Uh, in that way, you can read them, you can go back and reference them. So, so there are differences in the way that you receive information on an online course, uh, and a lot of it is reading. Um, okay, so. So we have our first section, and we have a good, solid description of what's happening in our first section. Uh, if we go down here, uh, now we talked about uh, you know reading the course syllabus to understand how your grades would be calculated, and the way that you're turning in assignments will be different. So let's take a look at one of those differences here. You know, this is an assignment. Now this is what's called a voice thread assignment. Uh, now in a lot of cases, your assignments would be uploading files, and that's fairly fairly straightforward you you know you select the file from your computer you press submit it uploads the file or maybe you'd be on doing online text that's a case where you'd say I want to um, you know create a response or I want to edit my response you'd go in you'd type something into an online text editor and click save now that would be an online text response in this case it's a vo it's a voice thread okay and voice thread is an external site so let's go ahead and click on you know, really a different type of assignment than you might see in a, in a regular classroom. Okay, so we have our voice thread here. Oops, and I am going to go ahead and um, uh, switch my role to a student. That should be helpful. Okay, so. Um, we have our voice thread assignment here, and notice in a voice thread assignment, um, we can uh, basically what voice thread is is we we hear a presentation. Okay, so we have a a, a, a presentation here about um, about when you get stuck using a computer <laughs> application. And the, uh, the actual assignment is for me to comment on this presentation. So it's a way for the teacher to know that I've watched the presentation and understood it, uh, what's being talked about. So the comment here is, um, I'm going to make the comment, uh, when I need help, I look at the help menu. Okay, that's my comment. I could also record a voice comment in this case. Okay, so I've made one comment. Okay, I'm going to make a second comment. I'm going to say, when I need help, I sometimes search on Google. I'm going to save that and make a third comment. And now I'm recording a voice comment. Okay, so I've made three comments, so I'm going to go ahead down down to the bottom, uh, right underneath the voice thread um, uh, section of the assignment, and I'm going to click I made three comments. So in this case, um, in this case, uh, once I click that button, uh, I've actually turned in the assignment. Uh, which is great. So that's an example of a difference between um, an online course and a regular course. So I never handed in, I never physically handed a piece of paper to anybody, but I completed a task uh, as assigned in the course and I, and I clicked a button that indicated I wanted to send my work in to the teacher.
So that's a, that's a difference between online course and a regular course. Now the next thing that will be a little bit different is in the online course, my grades uh, are available for me to look online. So as a teacher, you know, as a teacher evaluates my work and gives me um, grades in the class, I'll be able to see them online. And when I'm a teacher, or I'm sorry, when I'm a student, my grades are going to look a little bit like this. So if I click on uh, on the left-hand side here, you notice on the left-hand pane, I scrolled down and I clicked on grades. So notice now it, it gives me this kind of grade administration menu. Um, and you'll notice that your, your view will look a little bit different than this, uh, but this is kind of similar to how it looks. So when you look at your grades, you'll be able to easily see, and in fact, it's a little bit better than in the classroom sometimes because it can be kind of confusing for students as to, you know, where what grade they have currently. That's a, that's a big question teachers get asked, or what grade I got on this assignment, you know, and, and in this case, it's immediately available to you. You can just click on grades and take a look. Okay, so that kind of completes our look at how, uh, cla how online and, uh, and regular classes or traditional classes are different. Uh, uh, and we really went over um, how to uh, get help, you know, how to find your teacher's contact information in the syllabus, the importance of keeping in contact with your teacher, you know, that it's a little bit more work online um, to, you know, it's not just raising your hand, it's actually writing an email. We talked about turning in work that you know we're not physically handing in work in, in the form of a piece of paper we're actually submitting work online and then finally grades we're not getting back a piece of paper with a grade on it we would you need to go to the grade section of our learning management system or Moodle and take a look at our actual grade chart here and that would give us all of the information that we would need uh, good luck